Okay, how you doing today? Hi, I'm Angelique. I'm doing great. The weather's great. The samples were great, so <laughs> it's a good day. So tell, tell us a little bit uh, about yourself, Angelique. Well, um, I am moving back to the Chicago, to Chicago from the East Coast, from Boston. Okay. So I've been away for 10 years, so everything is new to me and really exciting. I'm starting a financial representative firm, and so I'm just out here trying to expose myself to the community, get my name out there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you enjoyed yourself with the ice cream? Oh, yes, absolutely. Did you taste it? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. the butter, the uh, banana bread, the uh -huh. banana pudding, and the uh, the bean pie ice cream. Delicious. Those are the two. Those are the two together. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what kind of business do you have? Uh, I'm starting a financial representative firm, and okay. I'm focusing on leaders within the community and also business, um, small businesses. And uh, what I'm doing is helping you build your financial wealth. And I'm taking you from the basics to budgeting and saving all the way into more advanced vehicles like investing and so forth and everything in between. So if you're out there and you have a small business or you think you consider yourself a center of influence and a leader within your community, please contact me because myself and my team, we can help you build your financial goals. Okay, that's good. So how long have you been doing it? I've been doing this for a little bit less than a year then, but my firm has been around for over 150 years. It's the longest standing financial firm within the Chicagoland area, McTeague Financial Group. And there's just a lot of experience there and a lot of expertise. So you're really in great hands. You really That's are. Good. So what prompted you to get into this type of business? Um, my mother passed away two years ago and that made me think, what is my passion in life? I was working in corporate America, but there was no passion in it for me. It was great pay, but I didn't love what I was doing. So when she passed away, that was the spark point for me to go and set up to do what I wanted to do. And that's educate my community in financial, in their financial stability. I want to bring wealth into our community. We get money, we're great spenders. I want to help my community learn how to save. If you can save money, you can build wealth, and all of those dreams that you have can absolutely become a reality. So start with me, I'll get you on the right grounding, and then it's supposed to be a great long-lasting relationship. I'll see your kids go to college, I'll see your kids have children, and that's what I'm here for, to build wealth within the community. So what advice would you give to young entrepreneurs or just those who are interested in business? Advice, I would give First of all, always stick to your passion. Stick to your passion and believe in yourself because what you'll find is even your closest people, your best friends, your family, sometimes they don't, they aren't there to support you. So always have conviction in yourself and faith in yourself that you can do it. Never give up. And also stay on top of your finances. Whether you're starting off a new business or you're a young professional, you can't get anywhere if you're not saving. You have to put away for those rainy days. Cash is king. Yeah. So what literature would you recommend for, for any young entrepreneur or business person? There are some great, great books out there, but I would tell entrepreneurs, there, there's a lot of financial books and a lot of how-to books, but I think the best type of books are psychology books and, and how you focus and how you think and how you change your mindset around things. Things to change your mindset from bad energy to positive energy, things that show you how to focus on completing things at a certain time. So those are more of the books I would center, and my advice would be to center somewhere with changing your mindset and how you view things. Because once you change your mindset into a positive mindset, everything else will fall into place. Have faith in yourself and think positively, everything else will fall into place. Beautiful advice, excellent advice, and we appreciate the time you took to share insight and hope you enjoy the rest of your day and looking forward to looking for you in the future. Thank you, and again, I'm Angelique Tullock with the McTeague Financial Group, so um, I have business cards and I guess everything will be online, so. <laughs> so is there a website? Um, absolutely, McTeagueFinancialGroup.com, okay. and McTeague is M-C-T-I-G-U-E. Okay, then. Well, thank you, Angelique. Appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, bye.